Is AI going to take over the world? Let's get into it. Hi everybody, I'm Michelle Patterson and this is Angel Souls. If you're new, welcome. I am a spiritual practitioner and an angel medium and what I'm doing here is I'm going to share the messages I have received about AI. If that's not your thing, why is it got to be your thing? Just stay anyway, okay? <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to let you guys know this has been a really big question on my mind and on a lot of people's minds. Is it going to take over? Is it going to take our jobs? What is life going to look like? So when I tuned in, I was like ready to take like a lot of notes. There wasn't much because <laughs> they said, we've already been telling you, we'll guide you as you tell others. So will AI take over the world? Yes. But keep this in mind. There has been some version of technology that has come and changed our lives ever since we've been on this earth, okay? So whether we want to acknowledge that or not, there's always been something. Now, a more recent example that kind of ties in with AI and whether this will be a detrimental thing or something that is a positive, World War II. Now, I gotta be careful what I say here, but just look at history. When we have been given technology and it has been mishandled, misused, weaponized, or used in a greedy fashion, then yeah, it is a detriment to humanity. What I thought was interesting was they were referring to this as a technology. They don't call it artificial intelligence, but they're calling it a technology that is a gift to humans and we're being, it's another test run. <laughs> like, here you go. What are y'all going to do with this? Have you learned from history? Have you learned from your mistakes? Now we have people who are functioning from a very low frequency place who will try to do God knows what with AI to have, I don't even know what the intention is. So like have a completely robotic society. I don't know. But I think the bigger worry for people right now is, will this take over jobs? It will at first, is what I have heard. It will at first. But what's going, what's the discovery? The discovery is that you can't replace humans. Now, there are going to be a lot of people who disagree with that. Come talk to me in a couple of years, okay? <laughs> Let it play out first before you just assume that I'm wrong in saying this. So I think what they're getting at here is that there are going to be mishaps. We've already seen that. We've already seen where AI is not perfected. So in the short term, there will be attempts to replace jobs with this. Some of them may work, other, others will not, okay? And people will have to come back on because there's been too many mistakes made. Now, if it gets really, really good, the message I got about that is that humans love to play God and they love to assume everything is going to be in perfect function. They're saying the technology is already perfected, but when it is introduced into this realm, it's our lack of understanding around it that brings the imperfections. So think humans trying to harness and develop and bring to fruition something that's already, it's already what it needs to be. But then when you funnel it through a density consciousness being, we start applying what we think is right and we mess it up. That is where we're going to have some issues. Is it already being weaponized? Yes. Do we have to cower and be afraid? No. No. There's another side to this. It can be a very helpful, useful thing when used appropriately. There is a downside in that the human brain, in the example of let's say kids using AI to do their homework, the human brain may not develop in the way that it could. It, could, it may not reach its potential I don't want to say become weakened, but you know, it's like using a calculator for everything. You're not exercising your brain to do math, right? Same kind of thing. So there is that. 
there is, you know, I would say writers, musicians, artists. That was a big feeling that I was getting. Any of the creative stuff. We know that AI has been trying to develop to become more sentient so that it can produce art, literature, as well as a human could. But there was there was some message here of, <laughs> how do I put this? Uh, it's sort of like creative, creative energies. I want to use that term. Creative energies are not going to tolerate that. Okay. So I almost wonder if humanity doesn't have a movement of sorts where it's like, it's almost like, is this mass produced art from home goods or was this done by a real artist? There's going to be, and again, you can look at history. Whenever we go too far in one direction, there's always usually an overcorrection. So people will kind of get into this. They'll realize, okay, this is cool. I can design things through this, but it's weakening my creative life force, which as you know, if you've watched this channel for any amount of time, your creative life force is the space that you manifest from. So that would be the detriment to humans. And most humans wouldn't even recognize that because they're not familiar with spiritual concepts, you know, the power of the soul. And that's really what AI is trying to be. It's trying to be this external source of soul energy that can't be replicated. It can be mimicked, but you can't, you know, <laughs> exactly replicate it. So there, there is going to be some bit of a turnabout and probably a backlash against AI. And again, it comes from creative types. Many of you know, I'm a writer and part of, you know, you know, making a writer's living is doing copywriting. Well, a lot of that's being done by AI now. And I'm waiting for the backlash on that. I, I felt that <laughs> for a while. Right now, everyone's in this. It's new. Let's explore it. Let's see what it can do. And the angelic messaging I've gotten around that is that that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, but there are a lot of beings on standby ready to shut it down like they had to shut it down in the past. So could we go too far? Think of a bunch of kids playing on the playground and they start getting out of control and they're fighting, right? At some point, teachers got to come in and separate the kids and say, okay, everybody goes inside now. Nobody gets to be at recess. It would be that sort of thing. So what are we talking about here? We're talking about, yes, it's going to have an effect on things. Lots of things are already being run by AI and have been for quite some time. We will get sick of it. <laughs> we'll get tired of it. And, you know, I don't know what they're doing with AI, but right here, right now, as I record this, I don't think there's anything like the human temper, okay? Like, if you, <laughs> if people get fed up, you better lay low, okay? Because they will rebel against it. And, you know, that's where, you know, I'm not just saying this because I'm a spiritual practitioner, but that's where spiritual practice really becomes even more important so that we keep sort of the original soul light going and not allow, quite frankly, this distraction to pull people away from that. So that is where, you know, the rebounding kind of moment happens. So I think that there will be a splitting. There will be people who, don't forget, there are some beings that are here to help us with this, okay? People who are built to understand this stuff. So that's cool, right? It doesn't mean that if somebody's into AI or part of that world that they're bad. Not at all. It's how it's used. And that's obvious, right? So keeping keeping up with your energy field, keeping up with, uh, this could produce pollution for sure. Uh, electromagnetic pollution in some way, shape or form. That's just what I'm getting right now. I'm passing it along to you. I don't know exactly what that looks like, but there's that. Um, but we will adjust. We always do. We are very good at adapting, whether we think so or not. We're very good at adapting. We'll take it until we don't want to anymore. There will be backlash. But more than anything, preserve the creativity. Don't get too lazy as humans, okay? <laughs> and make sure that you are keeping your, your spiritual focus 
going, your spiritual practice that brings everything back to the breath. It brings everything back into the soul light. If we're doing that, we'll be all right. There could be some really great innovations around this. It, it, travel, they're, <laughs> they're flat out going here going, travel is not, no, that doesn't fall into that category. Sorry, y'all, but, you know, listen, that's not, that's not the peak performance of this tool. It's more medical field. Um, it is, you know, it can help save people. Let's just put it broadly like that. But it's like anything. Anything powerful that gets in the wrong hands will then do the exact opposite, which is what we're seeing. When we focus, so why I do what I do. Okay, when we focus on our spiritual selves. We emanate an energy, whether you believe so or not. We Everything has an energy. You put that out there. It goes into the collective. And that collective energy is what can calm a war down or spark a war. That's why this is imperative. That's why this matters. So don't worry about AI taking over the world. Stay in charge of yourself. Staying in charge of yourself does not look like paranoia. It does not look like giving into the drama of the bad things that other people are doing. It's about being aware and fortifying yourself, which is what I talk about all the time. So we're going to leave it there. If you have further questions or things that you want me to tune in and ask the angels about, leave it in the comments below. Please do not let angelic messages be drowned out and hidden. Make sure, whether it's me, make sure, all I ask is that you make sure it's an actual angel medium. Not just someone who claims to be. Make sure they're an actual angel medium and share the message. Make sure it's getting out there. I love you all and take care.